EMR is a emergency medical response. It first came in in 2011 here at Dandenong as a pilot. We've responded to priority zero calls. So that is unconscious, not breathing, not alert. They have zero chance of survival unless someone can intervene and uh, assist them. So like any other call we go to, EMR will be paged the same. The station tones will alert us to that call and we have 90 seconds to be on the road. When we arrive, everybody gets out, we all grab the equipment and we walk in and say, Fire Brigade, we're here for medical response, find the patient, assess the patient. You work as a team together. Depending on what the call is, uh, you just got to brace yourself to be in the best situation to, to go ahead. In many cases it's uh, into CPR, so performing compressions straight away with ventilations uh, and also hooking up a defibrillator uh, to effectively uh, restart their heart. So even though if the fire brigade arrive first, uh, before ambulance, there's still something effective that we can be doing uh, in the meantime until they arrive with more specialised equipment. It's all about having the quickest response to cardiac arrests in the community. We've got an ambulance responding at exactly the same time as our crews. Whoever gets there first, regardless of, of whether it's the AV crew or the, or the CFA crew, it's a time critical incident where we want to get there as quick as possible to be able to instigate some medical intervention. Ambulance Victoria is the organisation responsible for training with the fireys, with CFA and with MFB. I think it's great that they step up and they want to actually be involved and, and, and help the um, community with emergency medical response. How many shots into the device? Two. Two. It's obviously a new skill set um, that we're going to have, uh, which is going to assist the public, and that's what we're here for. Some more scenes will be, uh, I suppose, confronting, um, but we're trained to deal with that. When this program started, it was um, something that um, I thought, well, if I can help, I can help, I'll do what I can. You can't say you enjoy it, it's never good. Um, the only thing that's good about it sometimes is if you do get a save and the patient's transported. Recently we had a really good save, the patient sort of uh, made a comeback and uh, next day they were reported to have been sitting up in hospital in ICU. CFA obviously have a really broad range of emergencies they respond to every single day and as we go forward this is going to become a part of that and it's going to just integrate into our, our business as usual. We will be responding to EMR events just as we do go to rescues, um, structure fires, wildfires, car accidents. CFA have taken this on and it's probably one of the best things as an organisation that we've ever done. Uh, we've fought fires for years but we actually have more chance of saving someone's life or benefiting their recovery doing EMR than we do on a day-to-day -day firefighting jobs. <laughs>